about it. So I thought I'd do a quick first product view of one of my surprise tools when it comes to using Copilot. Um, if you watched my previous video, um, I gave a bit of a summary of my thoughts around Copilot um, as up to now. Um, and I mentioned that there were a few surprises. So I thought instead of going with the typical um, examples of Outlook and Word and all those things and the Teams ones, which are great, by the way, um, I would show you something which I found surprising is the whiteboard assistant inside, <coughs> specifically Copilot for whiteboard. So when your whiteboard open, it's all awesome. If I click on the whiteboard icon, I get a couple of things. So I'll zoom in, suggest, categorize, summarize. Obviously I've got a blank board, so we're gonna go with suggest. This is where I can go in, and let's say I'm doing a workshop, and I wanna populate with a few um, notes as a prep for the workshop. I can do a suggestion here. Yeah, so um, a workshop, and my typing is terrible. Or rolling out dynamics three six five cells to a U in the cool. So as you can see this is completely unedited this video. I'm literally doing it in real time and one of the things that is important to know for me is it I suck at typing. Cool, so that is my workshop content. So I'm gonna go ahead that and it's gonna run, look at the, my prompt, and it's gonna look at the context that I'm busy with a workshop for that. And it's given me a few um, ideas for my workshop. You can see them there, I'll, I'll leave them on screen for a moment. And I can go, you know, that's great, can generate more. Maybe I wasn't happy with that, or I'd like a, a few more, so it, comes up with a few more. And a lot of these, if you've ever done a workshop in the Microsoft space or any product space, these will look reasonably uh, cool. So let's go to edit. Uh, let's go and add, I also want to scope migrating data from Salesforce. And hit that. So this is really awesome. I'm gonna generate a few more and I'm gonna generate a few more again. And now that I've got that, I'm happy. I'm gonna go insert and Copilot is gonna go insert it for me. That's just cool. I mean, that's really awesome. I mean, imagine having to come up with this and go and create every single sticky note separately. And once again, the whole idea behind Copilot that it, it gets you that first draft, it gets you that first version that you can then use and edit and refine for your own purposes. So really, really awesome. You'll see it says Copilot because it was created by Copilot, it wasn't created by me. So even the people who joined this uh, board will know that this was actually generated by the AI. And of course I can add, my, add additional ones as well. So I can add a note for uh, setup um, identities. And I haven't practiced any of these entries uh, or different departments. And as we can see, my typing is really terrible. Cool, but that's not a problem. So good. So I've got some other set up. As you can see, it says it was created by Troy Gerber. Um, so it is something that I created myself, not something that Copilot created. Uh, when we're doing majority of a lot of workshops that we do, um, there is a whiteboarding session or a session where we throw ask everybody to throw their ideas onto a whiteboard and we use that um, as a as a bulk and then we refine down to the intent. And one of the things that we do when we have these wonderful ideas we get from people is we go and we select everything. So I'm going to see if I can get the select tool. Oh, and we then, oh, sorry, let me rephrase it. We don't select it. We'll then go and say, right, let's break this up into logical categories and we'll go and group the different sticky notes or whatever you're using together and try and find a single umbrella that they fall under a single topic. So one of the cool things you can do with Copilot and a whiteboard is take your notes and you can say categorize. 
And what it'll do, it'll go through all the, the sticky notes and use your imagination. You're so sticky notes from a whole bunch of different people. And it goes and says, hey, this is based on the sticky notes that you've added. I think this is the group, logical groupings based on what was in the sticky notes. And I can go have a look at that and make sure. Let's have a look. Um, map current cell source data. Plot, plot data regression. Yes, assess data quality. Yes. And you've been watching me from the scratch. I didn't phone prep any of these. These are all suggested. So it's come up with a really good grouping. I could go revert to normal. I can also go and regenerate. I'm not sure why I'd want to do that because I'm quite happy with the results. But let's, uh, let's try that out. So it says, hey, regenerate. I'm telling co-pilot. You got it sort of right, but I think there's a few. I, I'm not really crazy. Just give me another option to work with. And if I'm happy, I can say keep it. And then I'm good. So I'm really, really happy with that. So I've gone from, if you take those whiteboarding sessions that we typically have in doing analysis, and a lot of them we do, are doing online now, this is because of people in different geographical areas and mixing with remote workers and people that are working in the office. A lot of them will be doing by, by teams and we're using board-based applications, uh, typically like Miro and those type of things. So now I have got multiple people creating their sticky notes. I'm using Copilot automatically to do the sorting. But that's not all. Wait, so now my session's done and everything's looking good. Everybody's agreed on the groupings and we've sort of done the whole thing. Now I can do something which is really cool. I can say, not um, suggest a few more things. And it will look at it and then it goes and says, well, these are items that you don't have. Maybe you want to add those as well. I can use those base sticky notes that are there. So imagine in a real world scenario, I wouldn't have, I might have just had a blank board and we just started adding. Um, it can look at the context and then su and suggest sticky notes that are missing, which is really cool. Because as we all know, you don't always get everything out of that very first workshop. So I think that's really amazing. And then last but not least, once your session's done and you, you're sort of happy with everything, uh, we typically have to summarize these things. So let me use Copilot for that. So once again, Copilot popped in. I can say, uh, great, summarize note content. And what I should get, so it's kind of basically going to recurse through all the notes and uh, look at what the content is, and we'll give it a second or two. That is the one thing with Copilot that is worth mentioning, is that the demos you've seen before and all the cool videos that we got um, from, our, um, from Microsoft are great videos. They seem like everything goes through really fast. There is sometimes a waiting period, and that's fine. We got we're sending a bunch of data to a change of AI engine and saying, read this, understand it, and give you some context back. Um, so I think it's acceptable to have a bit of a break. Of course, cool. so let's have a look. It's gone through. It says zip project planning. These are the main themes. Da -da -da. Get a link to the board and keep it. So now I have my notes for this board and a bit of a summary of what was there yes the fun part this is loop so it's embedded this whiteboard notes into loop inside of a whiteboard which of course means that because i've got loop inside a whiteboard and i have all this i now have a copy to it so i can go and say copy component i can take that copy and i can drop it into any application that supports loops. I can drop this into a Teams basically. You know, maybe I have a Teams channel or a team set up in Teams for this specific project. I can drop that loop component in there and it'll have everything, including the link to the whiteboard, which I think is pretty sexy. Um, so yeah, so that was a bit of a surprise for me as to being a whiteboard. And I'm, I'm gonna be brutally honest in this video. Um, I'm a bit of a Miro user. And I like the stuff that Miro does and some of the Gen AI stuff they've done in Miro as well. But having this available to me as part of my Copilot license, plus the loop integration and the ease of use, um, yeah, I'm starting to use Whiteboard now. This, this is going to be my, 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 my go-to for now because um, we know that it's going to get better and better and better. So, so that is a very hopefully quick video on Copilot or Whiteboard. If you've got Copilot, look at how Whiteboard works. It's really good tool. And I'll be honest, I was not expecting this in Whiteboard. 
And what's really cool is we have seen their videos that have popped up uh, in part of the night sessions last year with whiteboard integrated into Teams meeting with the collab as well and summarizing the idea. So this is just one little portion of it. I've only been playing with this for a bit, uh, but I, there's greater things to come. And because everything we have in Copilot is basically V1 or the just post-release versions, um, um, we can expect a lot more. But have fun if you have any questions on this or would like me to try something that you didn't see me do. Um, I'm testing the grounds as well with Copilot. Um, so far, I haven't been disappointed. Happy to try it out. And drop a comment in whatever platform this has been posted onto. And I'll be happy to respond.